Hello, it's a wet day on Plus TV Africa, and of course, this is tea time where we're ready to analyze some of the entertainment stories. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I have my co anchors with me, Ife Omai and Ife Oluwash. Okay, yeah, what's Hello. up, guys? How you doing? Well. We got the memo. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I got down one today. You won? I didn't have to figure, out, figure it out too mm -hmm. much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's obvious. Okay. Do you want to join us? We can turn you to red. No, 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 it's fine. Okay, you don't want our magic My powers. love is okay. red, so. <laughs> 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 okay, so Funke Akindele gives veteran actor Kayode Olashendi Ajiwebi, popularly known as Pa James, a new house after his house got flooded. Mm, yeah, congratulations to him. Hmm. I like how they look out for each other in this regard. I think I've seen this type before, especially with the veterans in the industry. It seems like maybe revenue wasn't established then. It looks like the, the veterans are not doing as well as the current people. Mm -hmm. But I like that people are still lending a helping hand to... You know, our veterans and stuff. Like, I remember growing up watching him, so it was really sad to see that, first of all, that's where he was living, away from the flood. Um, but that also that um, Funke could help as well. So that was nice. Mm. It's really amazing. And I like the fact that um, she didn't have to put it out there. Some people will probably be the ones to post it themselves. Oh, I just mm. gave. And somebody else is doing it on a behalf. And she's saying a, a new home. And we haven't even seen a picture of the house, which I know is not audio, though, because mm. um, I don't think anyone would do that. And it's been 10 years. So this one is just a call to the government as well. This man has been clamoring for help. For over, ten, for over, I think this is the tenth year of consistent flood, flooding in that particular area. So imagine the people that do not have the opportunity to be yeah. gifted houses. Mm. What is happening to them? Those people are in pain right now. They're suffering. Mm. They're displaced and all of that. So I think mm. um, this is a call to the government. Um, to Governor right Babaji Desanwolu, please visit that area. Is, is it Adoke or what is it? Local government. Mm. Yeah, please just try and see what you can do for those people. It's time for a quick break. For when we come back, we we'll definitely have more to discuss. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I decide that every day. <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Ali Alibaba? Alibaba. Right oh, Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to do Everybody feeling alright. Still make music and people are still buying. I'm sorry, they look myself minimal. Are you? music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, what? <laughs> 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 Welcome back. This is Tilty Time on Plus TV Africa. A Nollywood actor is accusing Richard Mofer Damijo um, of being part of the people who killed Nollywood. According to him, he said, I loved this man when I was growing up and as a kid, but after joining Nollywood and standing up for what was right in Nollywood, I found out that this man was among the architects who killed Nollywood. RMD was collecting 250k to 400,000 naira just to be in movies. He might say he's doing it for passion because he loves acting, but he was killing the industry with such salary when he was meant to be collecting five million naira per movie. If RMD collects 250K to 400K per movie, then tell me how much a lower actor will collect per movie. Yeah, so said his passion killed the industry. I don't know why he's using kill. Like, it's such a, when I first read it, I thought he, I was, I was hoping for something scandalous, mm. like, wow, you know, he's a, I don't know, some big thing, but, you have to understand that there's negotiations that happen and if the person is also bringing 400k i don't know how you can jump from 400k to five million naira. like who's actually gonna pay that if the person could i feel like that would have 
been happening maybe um okay so you this so? is not the first time i'm hearing this kind of conversation and the good thing is the first time i, I can't remember if i was the one who interviewed the man i'm going to mention now it was somebody else who interviewed him but it's alibaba and if we want to be very sincere with ourselves we will understand the work that alibaba has done to mm -hmm. actually push the um comedy uh, industry in Nigeria to where it is right now. And in that conversation, he mentioned how he deliberately rejected a certain amount of money because he knew that if he did that, the industry would never grow. It's, it's going to become, I mean, if Personal. Alibaba is going to collect a 400K, why do I need to go and call somebody else that is upcoming that is, and that is also good to come and... Um, collect the same amount, then at the end of the day, they will be limited and probably be getting, say, 20K, 50K, because an Alibaba is getting a 400K. But because to get an Alibaba now, you're talking of millions, even close to that 5 million you're mentioning, it means that he has created an opportunity for other people other to people also to grow eat. in that industry. And he said it was a deliberate attempt, because when he was rejecting 400k and 500k and when you call him you say you know what it's not like he's outrightly going to be rude he will now call somebody else and say you know what i don't have this time now i'm busy but this person would do a great job because he also could vouch for these people coming up in the industry that they can deliver um mm. a, a good performance and, and hold the event and it worked because the comedy this industry guy, guy before the so lockdown intense. i know everybody's affected with the lockdown right mm. now but before now i'm telling you that it, a lot of people are eating comfortably and living comfortably based on just comedy hosting events and all okay. that and that's why and they respect doing, alibaba the in, till tomorrow i think the comedy industry is still thriving because they are still doing online comedy and stuff you like know, that and so people I, are still paying yeah i so okay. maybe he didn't put it right and uh, or however no, no, the guy else, i don't know perfectly. but the thing is we need to Honestly, tell ourselves the truth and if this is true because i don't know if if he got his facts right and i think that this is this rmd story is happening yeah. right now uh, that's where i was because going to. i don't know if that is what is happening right now i saw it as a thing of like when he was younger and 500 400k he said he admired him when he was younger. So when, when he, he got now into got the, into the industry, did it say today thing? Like well, was, we there sure. was there was a conversation I was having with a, an upcoming actor, and he was like, um, "RMD charges about a millionaire yeah. per role." Mm -hmm. Per, I mean, per scene, I mean. Okay. <laughs> so, so for every he time okay. he goes on set, you're giving him like 500k, 400k. So if that's what this guy is saying, but I don't want to believe that RMD will travel to Ghana to go and shoot a movie or travel to Tanzania or wherever mm -hmm. to go and shoot a movie and you would offer him 400 Yeah, so I think that I, I like the angle you That's brought. I, so I think yeah. it is not something that he's happening now because if mm. it's happening now, then there will be a problem. There will be and a serious I think and then this guy will be able to stay in his lifestyle. I doubt mm -hmm. that he's collecting 500k for a movie. Yeah, because for that's like two years ago. That was me. I saw words. it like a back then thing. thing. And because even back then, the I don't think you can compare Alibaba and RMD. I don't know. I mean, in the sense of like the being pioneers of the industry i don't know i feel like growing up i didn't see rmd as much i saw other people like jim ike and the huh. uh, you were not, no, no you were not watching movies you're not watching or, or maybe, no, well, or maybe not your generation movies. yeah because I, wow. I wouldn't have said yeah, yeah because yeah, i genuinely think our generations are very different <laughs> yeah. i wouldn't have seen i've no, called no, no. rmd a pioneer like i would have called alibaba a pioneer in the comedy industry like i wouldn't what have. well you might not call him a pioneer because when it comes to nollywood and acting it's not about Did one you person. Jacobs? There are, I, I would say Olu Jacobs. There are groups Olu of Jacobs people and that have are probably make, the same time uh, frame. Peter time Dutchie and Olu yeah. Jacobs can be in the same. But so that's what I was getting to. So you cannot give one person. And Arundi was the guy. He you was like the guy. Sorry, go on. Go on. Okay, go on. Go when on. it comes to movies, it's not mm. about comedy. Comedy is one person that stands up and doing comedy. But when it comes to a movie, you need people. So they are more like in sets. So if you're calling this veteran, like you're calling a, a, an Olu Jacobs, a Peter Doche comes to mind, mm. um, or Sophia and Co. Mm -hmm. like, when Are you they sure come we didn't have an RMD have, before so Peter Doche? So an RMD, I'm trying to remember who is in his clique now. So a Kanayo or Kanayo, mm. a, a, what's the name of this um, man now? Um, he's also well bearded and all that. I can't remember his name. Right? Zach Oji. Yeah. So people like that. The thing with RMD is that he has this good body that he takes care of himself and he comes out now and can play the cool boy and can play the older man and can play your sugar daddy and all. But he's actually 
a, a man that took even a break in the industry and then come back and came you. back like, into the industry. Like I don't see him as someone that's like again. Like, like, but he is a big yeah, yeah. deal. I feel like he's, he's he even had like a comeback. I feel like he was silent for yeah, a while. Yeah, he, he did and have then a, comeback. Had a comeback. I can't say that, that I will be looking wife. for like life changing things in the industry and I'll point to Arab like. But his comeback is a big deal. It is. Him, right? It is. So I, maybe I think, he was talking about before now. So if this is what's happening now, then there's a problem. But if it's not happening now, which I don't think is happening now, because I've had conversations where even his his condition not just his money his conditions to be on your set is your professional point. and strict so maybe he should get his facts right before coming yeah. out to talk about things but like if this, this right is now. what is happening now please our a-list actors please charge them collect money it would even help the standard of movies because yeah. if you can pay um the actors cheap that you can shoot anything and just mm. get it out there. But when you know that for this movie, I'm paying each one of them like a huge sum of money, yeah. you want then you would want to get the yeah. best out of right. it. So it would even help our quality of movies. So please charge them. Feel free. Charge even me. Charge me. Ah. Okay, tea time <laughs> continues right after this very short break. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I decide every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Oh, <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to dollar, everybody feeling alright. Still make music and people are still buying. That's how they look myself. Minimal are you? Mm. Mm. music is for mature-minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like. <laughs> 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 The National Film and Video Censors Board has reaffirmed its stance on Nollywood films that portray lesbian and homosexual acts. This is coming after reports confirmed the ongoing production of a lesbian-themed film, uh, a lesbian-themed feature film. According to um, Premium Times, the board's executive director Adidayo Thomas said in a, a recent interview that the film and its makers will be tracked and sanctioned, stating that the ignorance of the law is not an excuse. Is it in, in the law that you can act? portray a movie um, about homosexuals in Nigeria? <clears throat> because it's not even, um, what's it called? It's not even illegal to say that you're lesbian, it, but it's illegal to be, to be caught, caught in, in a lesbian act. Did you act, cut so. me? Mm -hmm. Was I caught? caught? I wasn't caught in the heart. <laughs> Um, so mm -hmm. it was a bit. You so know, I guess now portraying the being caught in the act in the movie is the problem. Well, like, are they going yeah. to actually be portraying that? Of course. Like, from what from what I read about the that movie, there will be sexual interaction. They would be kissing. They would be doing yeah. all those things and all that. So that's like. But at the same time, I'm also thinking about it this way, that, okay, yes, we know that it's not legal in Nigeria. It's a crime, right? But we portray armed robbery in our movies. It's a crime. We portray um, killings in our movies. It's a crime. So why are we not, why, why are they not coming out? To, mm -hmm. Why is it fiction? Because I believe this is creativity. This is the creative space. They should mm -hmm. be allowed to put out whatever they want to put out. Mm -hmm. Is it passing across the wrong message? Yes, it may. Is armed robbery passing across the wrong this. message? Yeah. yeah, is armed robbery passing across the wrong Wrong message? Yes, it is. Do you understand? So I think this is quite a stretch because of what it is. Mm. I think it's quite a good PR for the movie anyway. Because at so. the end of I'm the day, when it. it comes out, hopefully maybe Netflix. Because I had, I read um, the the producer now, or is it the director saying they are going to create their own platform yeah. to show it? I'm mm. wondering. Okay. I was mm. I was surprised that they said they're not going to put it on YouTube. I guess because I mean, how much control do you have over YouTube. that? If it's not yeah. legal in Nigeria, and I take my movie to maybe Ghana, where it's a lot more lenient, and I put it on YouTube. I mean, you can still access it in Nigeria. So it was really confusing as to how much control you have. The unfortunate situation, I know there'll be a lot of people watching us that probably wouldn't like that. We are not like bashing, bashing, bashing. Yes, you put your religious beliefs aside, your differences, whatever. The truth of the matter is that it's happening. There is a number of people in Nigeria that are desperate to have a movie like this that are desperate for representation and as, as much as we want to fight it i think at some point 
people are just going to, you're just going to have to let people live their lives. Um, even if it's not in the movies today, it is happening in your house right now. And there's someone in the corner <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> so like, it's, it, it's something that you don't have to, because I remember. The fact that it's I, happening doesn't mean mm, we should give it thumbs up. No, that, you see, that's now, like I said, another argument because we portray um, Ron's girls in our, in our, in our um, movies and everybody watches it and, and it's fine. People sleep around before marriage and it's fine. And those are all like religious and biblical things that you would definitely preach against. So what, why why who gets the authority well, like to choose Elsie and said, pick like which Elsie sin said, isn't allowed to be portrayed? How is because it going you have to end? Are they going to uh, up, get get up and really marry? Does it really matter how it ends? Yes, For it me, does. Why? Because it's the lesson that matters. On what parts, message are you passing across parts, to the people watching? On the part where you said um, um, about the distribution on YouTube and all that. So the response I got from or that we read from the people who are producing this movie doesn't come across as they, as they even understanding their own rights and extent at which they can publish some certain content. Because like you said, YouTube, the biggest deal is if you don't want it to be shown in Nigeria, you block Nigerians from seeing yeah. it. So you cannot say you cannot mm. use a platform like mm. YouTube because the um, na National Film and Video Censors Board are not comfortable with it. Mm. I, I want to believe that they have their limitations. And also, um, he, she, he or she said it will also be on Netflix after a year of them releasing it on their own platform, the platform that is not ready yet. So I, I, I don't know if this is publicity. I don't know if even this idea of so Thomas is happened, coming up. In it happened some. before. There was an Mnet <laughs> series of a boy, mm -hmm. a kid. It was supposed to be a young boy who had gay tendencies. Mm -hmm. And then the story about that, so how he came out, how his family mm -hmm. experienced. I was trying to give more insights on that. I remember this was mm -hmm. maybe 2015, mm -hmm. and there was like crazy chaos going on. People were signing petitions and not to allow that to Nigerians. film in of course not to allow that to film in Nigerian I, what DSTV I remember space. is the cartoon that was actually beginning to portray a lot of homosexuality mm. and that petition started that was what the issue is and I think at that point in time and still now I'm not comfortable with um, showing children a lot of sexuality options when they're actually growing up from the age of one or two or three. I mean, let them grow well, it's into okay if who Snow White they want is, to if be. If Snow White is being kissed by a boy. Who is Snow White? Be, well, yeah, it's not Snow White that was sleeping for how many years and then Prince Charming had to come and kiss her. That is sexuality. But the Snow White sleeping for how many years and became, at what age was the Snow White kiss? Okay, so if there were two adults in the in the cartoon so kissing each point. other. Sexuality is not even supposed to be portrayed in a cartoon. There's a way it's being portrayed. It's not like what we have now or what was the reason that people went ahead to sign that petition because it's more like trying to mess with people's mind mm. and starting from a child that can't even differentiate their yeah. right from their left. There's something called parental guidance and we cannot take that away. But this the is not of having first a parental movie. guidance. I don't want to make this conversation content. about that, but I think it's a bit unfair to see that as parental guidance. When somebody, another person's child, or another parent will sit here and tell you that you are dismissing their representation, that they have a gay child, that they, are, that, that they love and have accepted. They but they're not understood any that the child was gay from three, four, five years old, six, seven, eight, of nine. Of course. You know, you know, you know sexuality isn't just about sex. It's There's about a lot more that comes into that. It's not just about, like... It, this is not America. This is not any other it's place. Not a, this is it's Nigeria. Not a, uh, location where thing, it though. is not legal mm -hmm. so we need to know the stance of the law about this so and everywhere no they, no not there's no country that started legal i think there's people who advocate for that and whether, trust me homosexuality okay. would not be legal in nigeria for very very i don't even think in our generation okay that's how we wrap up this episode of tea time thank you for watching and just send your opinions via whatsapp to 90 or tweet at Tonsa Plus TV Africa. My thank you as always to go to my co-anchors, Ife Omai and Ife Oluwa Yes, that's me. And the entire production team. Remember, you can catch up on this episode and all exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel, Aplus TV Africa. My name is Elsie Godwin. Please do stay safe. <laughs>